Let's take a look at how you can place an image or file into your designer document and some of the things you can do once it's in there. Firstly, let's go over to the place image tool on the left hand side. Now let's locate our chosen image from the finder window, like so. Now we can either click and drag to conveniently place our image into our document in the right size, or we can also simply click to place the image at the full original resolution. Because I'm in a CMYK document, we also have this option up here, the K only button, which will convert this image into a grayscale black and white image. This is particularly handy if you don't want to use any color inks or toner when you're printing out a document and you just want to do a black and white printout. We can also adjust the scale and size of the document too. So if I use this other example and place it in and then go over to our options in the context toolbar, as you can see this is currently in the original size and 100% scale. If I change this number to say 500, you can see that my image has become pixelated. So this is a particularly handy way to ensure that the images you're placing into your document are at the correct 100% scale to ensure that you don't get any pixelation and everything is nice and crisp. For the main example though, I'm going to use an affinity document. So here I have an affinity designer document but this could be a PDF or PSD as well. And I'm just going to look at a few ways we can adjust this image. Once it's imported, we can go back to the context toolbar and adjust the page box options here. This will instantly change how your image is displayed. So for this example, I actually want to have maximum visible content. This has instantly changed my boundary box to just the visible elements of my image. I'd also like to crop this a little bit further. So if I go to the vector crop tool here, I can instantly just get rid of these lines at the top side and bottom. And now I'd also like to just flip this image as well. So let's go to the very top here and select flip horizontal. And I'd also like to change these lines to white lines instead. I can do that by going to the effects options I have here with my layer effects. I can click on color overlay and I can change this to white. This is a really handy way to change some of the characteristics of an embedded document without actually having to go into that document and say resave or make any duplicates. So let's just get this in place. I'm actually going to use my context toolbar options here and adjust the scale like so. Now let's just give that a slight variation there. And now we have something much more fitting to our layout. So there you go, that's a few ways that you can import images or documents and some of the changes you can make to those as well.